Well, for changing the U-joint, still need a stand back here or something to hold the back end of your drive shaft up. And then this end here is going to go, you don't want the corners of your vise digging into this shaft. Make sure you got a little bit of a gap there. And then the yoke end of it or this end of it here needs to sit on this. Now we're going to knock this one off first because we can support this drive shaft. We cannot support this little tiny yoke by itself. So we're going to knock that off. And what I'm going to do is while this is sitting in this position like this, I am going to hit this part with a hammer and I'm going to smack it hard, real hard. And it's going to knock this down and this U-joint uh, in here is going to push this cap right out the top. So let's get the camera set up on the tripod for that. This one has inside lock rings. I didn't see those. I gotta knock those out. Sometimes it's hard to tell when the U-joints are in that bad of shape, but that's a, a a lock. I think that's a lock ring. Yeah, there's a lock ring in there I got to uh, get out of there first. Okay, I think I might have this on camera now. But that's my lock ring right there. And I'm going to take a screwdriver and a, and a hammer and just uh, pluck that off of there. Just like so. And sorry I missed that on the first part of the other one. out take your yoke off clean it up just a little bit and then we can press the new one in there I'm gonna knock this one out gotta get those lock rings out of there way things are here because I don't have time I don't have time to do videos to be honest with you because I don't have time to clean the shop I'm working too many jobs and so sorry about that for you guys that don't know me but uh, there goes that one I'm going to get this other ring out of there and then we'll knock that out the same way. Okay, now I'm more on the end of the vise because <clears throat> I'm not holding the ears of the shaft in the vise. I'm just holding the U-joint itself in. And so it's down here and i got to hang on to this so it doesn't slide off and fall away. 
but now we're ready to be careful not to hit this part of the shaft it will dent this is behind the weld on the on the main shaft this part up here is solid steel it's heavy we can hit that Join out. Now we're going to press the new ones in in the vise here. Here's a new one. This one is the same on all four sides. Sometimes they're not. Sometimes one side has bigger caps, and then the other two would be smaller caps. These are called caps. Uh, another thing, people will drop these and, and lose the bearings, put them back together, return them uh, with the bearing missing. You, you need to look inside and make sure that all those needles are in there on, uh, on all of these. So now we're going to take two of these caps off. Well, that's not going to fit. This one will. We already have two caps that are smaller. At least the diameter is the same. I've seen them where the diameter was bigger one way than it was the other. See, these will just fall right in there. That's too loose. Will they fit the yoke? The yoke fell on the floor. If they fit the yoke, then we're okay. No, they don't. They're too loose in the yoke. Oh, wait a minute. That's the. Let's see here. Not going to fit. Getting back on these U joints actually the next day because we had trouble finding parts. And, um, still kind of weird. Um, because these have these little clips that go on the inside. Usually they go on the outside of the U-joint. You put them on out here, but in this case they go on the inside. And when I put this up here, I'm still not sure that there's room for those clips. I line this side up here on the right. Then I come over here on the left, and the groove that the clip goes in is now going to be all the way inside of this and not out here where I can get the clip on it. So, not sure how that's going to work out yet. But another thing that I want to mention that's important is uh, maybe it's not that important, but I'm going to do it anyway. Is uh, the front of the drive shaft which is going to have this slip yoke on it that goes next to the carrier bearing. I put a mark to F there and a R for the rear that goes on the differential end. So, uh, what I'm going to do is take a chance on these actually fitting and uh, getting the clips inside. So I'm going to go ahead and install these. If they, uh, if they fit, then great. And what I'm going to do is take one of these caps off and just barely start to press it in to the, uh, the, the side here on one side. Just press it in a little bit with the vise. Then we'll slip the U-joint in place and finish pressing it in a little bit more and then We'll start to press the other end in over here, but what we'll do is, is slide the U-joint out of this one and into that one to make sure that it's pressing in straight before we finish pressing it in all the way.
slide this one in that hole first then over here into this one and now I'm going to slide it across the middle into that one just part way like so slowly a little at a time making sure that this stays centered start pushing these in okay now this one over here on this side, let me see if I can close up on that. My groove shows up over here that these snap rings go in. I'm going to go ahead and put a snap ring in on that one. And then we're going to knock it back over to this side so that this groove will show up more. Because this one's not showing up yet, but we'll put the snap ring in here and then we'll knock the U-joint We'll knock it back over this way to uh, tighten it up against the inside there. Ouch, got my finger. Okay, now in order to, in order to push this back in that way, I'm going to tap it down with a hammer, right here, but not, not on this, but on this to push, not on the cap itself, but back here to push it, it down. didn't want to do that. Now I gotta clean this and make sure none of my bearings fell out of it. And they did. A bunch of them fell out. I gotta find them. Okay, I did drop this cap and the needles, some of the needles came out. So I did find them. I picked up, I took a magnet, went down and found them. I hope I found all of them. I'll find out by putting them in. I put a little bit of grease in there. Don't have any blue grease handy, but the red grease will be just fine. And then I can pull the seal off and maybe put them in a little bit easier. So I just got to. Uh, put them back in there one at a time and hope I got them all. If I didn't, I'll have to find a used one. If I can't find one or two of the last new ones, I'll have to find a used one that size and, and put it in and make sure everything fits right. I did find them all. Um, got them all in there. I'm trying to get this in the camera there. So, um, I'm going to put just a little bit more grease in it and then uh, put the seal back on it and then go back to what I was doing. All right, I did what I was, should have done the first place was take these caps off because I, I knew they could fall and um, go ahead and finish pressing this in with the vise. Then I'm going to take just a little 
screwdriver. Hopefully this is enough to knock this out with a hammer and a screwdriver. Out here on the outside, hopefully. It'll be enough to get a another clip in on the other side. But I'm going to go and get a small pliers to hold that with because I pinched the end of my finger, got a little blood blister trying to hold it with my finger on the last one. Got that done. Now as long as this is free and it's not, I would uh, leave it but it's not free. This is tight. Can't leave it tight like that. So what I got to do is I got to push this back out. And don't want to smack it too hard and flatten out the sides of these um U joints, but I gotta. Hopefully, we can free it up. We got freed up some. Let's see if we can free up the other side a little bit more. Okay, we got that freed up better than what it was. So, this U joint's gonna fit good. Now, we gotta install that the same way on this um, that's going to be on the front of the drive shaft so that's going to go on this way we'll install the u-joint the same way on this one in the vise and I'm going to support this shaft on the jack stand get the camera out of the way the camera's right where the jack stand needs to be okay we got that started over there we're going to slide over here on this side, put that one in there, and then slide it over into that one, and then put my other cap, push it in place, slide the U-joint back into that cap part way, just a little bit, open the vise up a little bit, and start squeezing carefully sliding back and forth to make sure that we're centered, that we're inside the needle bearings on both sides. And one side will probably expose that groove for the snap ring before the other side does. Looks like it's not quite doing it that way. So I'm going to take the hammer and a punch, well this punch is too long, I need to get a shorter one. And I'm going to knock this side in a little bit over here. Now let me get the camera and show why. We got the groove here but it, it doesn't look like there's quite enough for that ring. I'm going to tr go ahead and try the ring and if it fits in there, fine, if it doesn't, then what I'm going to do is just knock this side this ear right here, I'm going to knock it over that direction a little bit while it's in the vise and uh, try to buy a little bit more room. We'll do the same thing we did on the, on the other side of it there. Alright, I flipped this around, turned it around the other direction so I can punch at it from, from my side here. And I did that already. I took this big punch instead of going and finding a smaller one. I came right up in here and tapped it there a little bit and we should have room to get this in there now. Yes it does. We got room to put that in. We'll just do what we did on the other side there. I was having a little trouble getting into a good position to knock this ear out to tighten up so I can get in that, expose that groove for that pin, excuse me, for that uh, clip. 
So I went and got a smaller chisel and uh, not a sharp one. This one's got a flattened point on it. And I came inside here and I got enough room to hit it on the top side here and uh, did it from like this. And I uh, also got it in the vise in a different position so that this is out. And so now I have room to get this in there. Well, just barely. Almost don't have room, but I'm going to try. I'm going to turn the camera off and go ahead and knock that in. And um, if I end up having to do something different, I'll record that and show you what it was. I got the pin. I keep calling it a pin. I got the clip in there. And we're still free on this side, the first one we did. But this, this one I just finished is still tight. Cannot leave it that way. So I'm going to pull this back out. And they're this way in a position where we're not going to hit the shaft with the jaws of the vise. But this is, is sitting on the vise so that we can knock this down. Read it up right there, just one hit. That's good. So now we're ready. This is all freed up. We can put the uh, grease fitting in. Now I don't like this grease fitting. I might find a different one. This grease fitting here, well, I guess we have to use it because of where it goes. It doesn't go in the middle like they used to. They used to go in the middle. There's a place in the casting for that. The casting has a swollen area here that would have been drilled out and then you would put a regular grease fitting in there. This one takes this little small head of grease fitting. You put it in with a flathead screwdriver and you cannot use a regular grease uh, thing on it. You have to use a needle if you're going to grease this thing you got to use a needle to screw that in there and then uh, there's a needle that's, that screw that, that you push into this hole out here and grease it with that and I don't like that but that's what we have to do since these last two caps don't get pressed in they they just go in the um, differential yoke and there's a uh, couple of clamps that goes on top of them so what I'm doing here is squeezing these in put it in the vise hang on to it with something in my case it's these miniature pliers and then grab the bigger pliers Squeeze that on. And the clamps will go on the outside of those. And uh, those go on the U joint, put the clamps on, we're done. Now, the other part of the video, or it's probably going to be two videos, is to the carrier bearing, because this is a two piece drive shaft. And we had to do a carrier bearing on it as well as U-joints.